Hey, it's Crystal, and today we're going to talk about Norman Rockwell, and we're going to make an old-fashioned, because if there's one thing that's old-fashioned, it's Norman Rockwell. So art can be a lot of different things, and one thing it can be is a cocktail, especially when you don't have old-fashioned glasses and you want to make your cocktail in a Norman Rockwell glass. Double art. So, I think before we actually make the drink, maybe we should talk a little bit about Norman Rockwell, the artist. It was a very prolific artist from around the 40s through the 60s. He wasn't necessarily taken too seriously by real artists or critics. He mostly had illustrations in the Saturday Evening Post. Uh, most critics kind of considered him too sweet, but it's similar to the whiskey. <laughs> I would say Norman Rockwell's work has some kick. Some of it. So some things that he did that are, I think are pretty legit that he illustrated Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. I mean, those are pretty serious books. He painted portraits of Presidents Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon. You know who else painted a portrait of President Kennedy? Elaine de Kooning. On top of the presidential portraits, he painted a portrait of Colonel Sanders. I don't know what artist hasn't wanted to paint Colonel Sanders. So, there's that. And then, on top of all this, <laughs> it's already a lot of proof. Proof? Get it? Uh, Norman Rockwell ended his contract with the Saturday Evening Post in 1963 because it was too limiting, because he wanted to paint more political themed work, um, and they wouldn't let him. Rockwell's a little misunderstood. I guess that's the trade-off. You find a way to make money with your art, and everyone calls you a sellout. I think that's basically what happened to him. Anyway, he ended his contract, started working at Look magazine, and in 1964, they published a painting called The Problem We All Live With, which was of Ruby Bridges, which if you don't know, I was the first child to desegregate a school in 1960. She's six years old. <laughs> just, just can't. She's, she's braver than I will ever be, braver than you will ever be. If you like that kind of motivational talk about the things you'll never accomplish, subscribe to my channel. So, if you feel like desegregation happened a long time ago, it didn't. So she was six years old when she was the first child to do this, and she is right now turning 63 today. Happy birthday, Ruby Bridges! Woo! She requested that this painting be displayed in the White House in 2011, and it was on display when she met President Obama. And of all that, wasn't enough to convince you that Norman Rockwell is a serious artist to be taken seriously. He also received psychiatric treatment in the 50s. The analyst who worked with him told him that he paints happiness, but he does not live it. I think it's pretty sad. It kind of casts a whole different light on all the work, even the sweet work that he did. So on that note, let's make an old fashioned. I've never made one of these before. But it doesn't look that difficult. First step, you want to wash the orange. First step is to buy an orange. Sugar, bitters, fry whiskey, water, ice, and glass. Then wash the orange. Okay. Now that the germs are removed, let's start making the drink. So it calls for simple syrup. I'm going to take a shortcut and just put some sugar and water together. I want to put this much sugar in this glass. Hopefully that's not too much because I don't like things too sweet. And I'm going to put the same amount of water. Um, I do have this, which might be a bar spoon. <laughs> I'm stirring this up until the sugar dissolves. Hopefully it's a nice sound. Okay, so when there's no more sugar, part it. Great. Great. Uh, anyway. Then you put two dashes of bitters. I think a dash is probably a drop. It's 
smells like nail polish remover. That's probably healthy. All right, so I'm gonna add two drops or dashes, if you will. I hope that's enough. <laughs> or, and also, I hope it's not too much. <laughs> you can always add more. I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I can barely put any whiskey in this. It's almost nothing. And I went with bullet rye. I have no idea if this is good for this. So you're gonna want to pour the appropriate amount of whiskey. I don't know what that is. I think maybe that much. <laughs> this just seems like straight whiskey. I think I need more of all the other things. And more whiskey. So I've decided a dash is the whole dropper full, not just one drop. It's basically science. Rocket science. This would be the worst old fashioned I've ever had. No? It might be okay. Now I haven't done this before either. I'm just gonna try to take this vegetable peeler and peel some of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it with the side because I don't know. Spritzy. How do you do this? Oh my god. Oh, I do have this thing. This might help. I don't know. So I guess some people do a twist. Some people do like a I don't know what you call it. Just like part of the peel. That's what I was gonna try to do. It's actually not been very easy. This is kind of working. Perfect. So here's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna rub it around the rim, I think is what you do. This looks so stupid. Next thing is an ice cube. So I'm gonna use these nice little round ice cubes. Little domes. I think it works. And there. It's a perfect old fashioned. Thank you, Norman Rockwell. Ink. So I'm just gonna drop the orange peel in. Honestly, I want more orange in this because <laughs> it's a little strong. It's actually good. Well, what do you know? Crystal can make an old fashioned. Look out, boys. And now, after you've made your perfect old fashioned, you're ready for the night of classy art. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something about Norman Rockwell and hope you enjoyed your drink. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more.